In this tutorial, we will implement a target practice device. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to access the code or the asset of, assets of the tutorial or are looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hi everyone, in this today's video we have a target practice tutorial. So on this one, we have a really um, you know, cute and nice design, a carnival design, but essentially this is just a target practice device. So you can actually um, like dress this up uh, with uh, any kind of mesh that you want uh, so that you can you know change the theme of it. Um, so let me show you how you, you can set this device up. So when we come to the device itself, the first device. Uh, so we have an array of target props. Uh, in a, for this one, I have four of them. So each for each target prop, you are setting the prop itself, and then you are setting the objective device um, that is on top of the target prop. That is, uh, we are using the objective devices to detect hits, and then you have a then we have a move offset z which is just how much the like shoot target is going to move in the z axis uh, so we are basically just moving the targets uh, on the vertical axis so let me show you so here i so these are the initial positions of, of these props so you can see so let me actually make my camera slower i guess yeah so these are my props here. Um, so these are my dock props with a little target area. So you can see that it, so it, uh, the important part here is that uh, of course this needs to be movable and the objective device also needs to be a movable. And in the objective device, I set a custom mesh and I set a cylinder. You, um, and you can actually set any mesh, like uh, probably a cylinder or a cube will or a plane will uh, do the job. Since I have a like circular target area here, I have used a cylinder. So basically, uh, that's all the props that I have here, the target props. And so for all of them, well, let me make it faster again uh, so for all of them on the device what I have is a um, yeah for all of them I just you know place the prop and I place the objective and then um, I just enter the move offset Z and that's about it with the target props then we have the conditional button to start the game so for this one I'll just ask for um, I'm just asking for a bit of gold and then we have three uh, trigger devices which are called by the device, device itself so this is the target hit trigger so this is called when um, a hit is done by the um, uh, by the player and this is uh, the uh, success trigger is called when the uh, practice is done and uh, you know uh, the player has succeeded it and the fatal trigger is called when the um, practice is done and the player has failed it uh, so to show how you can uh, basically by using these trigger devices you can do anything you want by like l binding devices to its uh, triggered event so in this example I'm just uh, I'm just playing a hit sound on the hit trigger, a success sound on the success, and a fail sound on the fail trigger. And so we have the game duration seconds. So I have it set. I said I have set it on 20. And then we have the target hit. So this is the amount of hits that player needs to um, hit uh, to finish to succeed the practice. I have I have done 15. And then this is this duration is uh, the duration the amount amount of seconds to show the um, tra target prop. So basically, they would be they will be moving up like this, and they will wait for a second, and then they will 
move down again so let me actually resort reset the location of that that's important to set properly and yeah and then we have this is a i mean you might not want to use that but there's also additional target show audio player so you can fill that slot with an audio player to or like play an audio when a target is shown and then we have the timer hood messenger and target count hood messenger so for these ones i just have a basic hood messenger but make sure that you're setting it um, to not show for a duration and it should uh, message recipient should be a triggering pl pr uh, player sorry and make sure that their layers are different because we are going to show two hood messages at the same time. So basically I'm showing the time and the like progress of the game um, at the top center uh, of the screen. But you can show it anywhere you want and you can use your like custom widgets or stuff with the hood messenger. Um, so of course I'm going to show the code like always. Um, but if you want to if you don't want to type it along and if you want to get the code file directly or you want to access the assets of this video you can check our patreon in the description so we have all these uh, meshes right we have this carnival mesh we have this like texture and then we, you know uh, we also have the target prop we have this little dock aim uh, mesh and then we have their materials all right as you can see here um so if you come to the code of it so you can see at the top we have we are defining the target so it's just a prop it's an objective device and an offset to move it on the z uh, so this is the initialization function we're basically you know subscribe we are setting up um initializing some variables and then we are um listening to the hit events and in the heat events, uh, we are calling the main device. Um, so I have already shown all of these. And here uh, we have, uh, we are keeping track of the practice agent and we're making sure that we only have one practice agent at a time. So that's why we are disabling the practice start button at the start and then enabling it back again when all is done. And actually, let me um, put it here when everything is done so that there is no edge case bugs or something. So, in on begin, we initialize all the target props and then we listen to the event of the button. When, uh, so, when the button is pressed, we just start the game because that's all right. I mean, we don't need to do any checks here because. If the game is active then the button will be disabled and it won't be like it won't be used um so we have yeah we are keeping track of the hit targets and to we are keeping track of should we show a new target or not and we are keeping track of the state of the game so basically if it's active or not so to make sure we are teleporting all target props their initial positions then we are uh, setting up our hood messages at their initial values and then we are entering the game loop here we tick per frame and so if we hit uh, we achieve the target hits we are breaking it uh, or the time passes then we are breaking it and if we break we look uh, at the hit situation and we either like a trigger the success trigger or the fail trigger and then here are we are hiding the hood messages again um, and we're making sure all the target props are hidden and then we enable the button so inside this is where we update the timer hood uh, we do this per second and then we come here and we look um, at the um, so here we are looking at the uh, shown target prop, so the one that's visible, and we are uh, hiding it if enough time has passed. Um, 
if uh, the you know if the show of duration seconds have uh, has passed then we are hiding it and here we are just uh, getting a random target uh, from the array of targets and we are like we are getting a random showable target and we are showing it right oops actually let's let's be a little bit um official and right frozen pawn there um and then uh we have the event of uh target target event target hit event so basically when it's a uh, hit we are making sure of course it's can only be a hit by the practice agent um so we are setting we are resetting its state we are increasing hit targets we are updating the ui we are triggering the hit trigger and then we are uh, calling the code to hide the prop and the in the hide function we are just playing the audio then we are moving it uh, down um i'm sorry this is a, i'm sorry i'm getting i'm getting lost this is a show show function but they are pretty similar so in the hide function we uh, hide it so you move, move it to the starting position then we teleport it to just make sure you know maybe move to might fail right and then we can we are setting its state we are saying that okay we can show this this is uh, good to go and then the show function we are a moving it up uh, and playing the sound on and also we are making sure hey if the game is done actually move it down again we don't we don't want this up um because since it's async it could be that the game is done but um the duck the target is still up and actually that's the entire thing um so let me show you how it works oops all right let me open the sound of that because we have audio players okay i think it's good okay uh, and also actually i forgot to sh show that to you where is it okay actually i also in the activated event of this conditional button i have also like mm, um, binded this item grantors grant event so that when you use it it just automatically uh, the player just gets the combat pistol and like if you want to do something similar if you want to give a gun to the player just uh, and then want and then you want to clear it just you know add like an item remover uh, remove events on the um, success and fail triggers so that when the like when the game ends um, that item is removed from the player but of course to be honest that can be um, like if you want to be 100 percent sure that the item removed i suggest you use like a volume device around the um <clears throat> around the uh, area and maybe you can like on the exit event you can call that item remover uh, but nonetheless I mean uh, it's not that important so we get some gold we get the weapon oops missed that okay I, I hope that you were I just I forgot to talk because I was uh, focused too much so you, you were able to hear the hit sounds and you were able to hit uh, hear the show sound so it's like I I'm using some weird sound like balloon pop or something and you were able to also hear the success sound win win sound so I'm going to start again so you can hear that show sound it's a bad sound that I picked but and that's the that's a hit sound i think it sounded pretty good <clears throat> and just i'll wait for the timer ends 
and then we will hear the fail sound basically yeah that's the fail sound and that's about it uh, I mean you and you know using <clears throat> using these triggers you can actually um, you know basically just do, do anything you want I mean you can bind it to other devices or you can use the events of those trigger devices in a verse device even and then you do really complicated stuff with your own like custom verse stuff uh, so that was all um, to access the code or the assets of this video you can check our patreon so thanks for watching like subscribe and share if you've enjoyed and also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next see you later